Well, hi there, and welcome to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Doe. Hey, I'm Eric Stromer. Are you ready? Well, I'm not only am I ready, but I've just had a taste of your delicious oh. pumpkin flan. Thank you. That you brought in a mm-hmm. lovely casserole dish, mm-hmm. and that it was so good. I got to tell you. <laughs> okay. Because I, 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 I feel like hungry. I got robbed this this holiday season. Yeah. You know? Well, but now I feel like it's all come together through the flan. Post this on the site. I, it, People it's up there. Need it's to, up, it's they up need there. to have this. It's a. It's right there. At yourhomewizards.com. So Eric and good. Cindy's uh, holiday favorites. The recipe's Yummy. there. But anyway, we're getting ready for the next holiday. And have you ever felt like you know what? I just can't do it. I need some help. And so. We thought we'd talk about ways to get your home ready for the holidays, and maybe it, it involves having a pro come in, you know, to your home and take some of the burden away. So this is a segment that's brought to you by our friends at servicelive.com. They are trusted service experts, a chance to connect with confidence. So let's say you are not really in the mood to hang Christmas lights. Well, and guess what? Th- and things get so extensive and extravagant now because the bar has been set. Oh, my gosh. You well, know? you go to the department stores. Right, and you feel like every, all these people hire professionals, and now you want your home to look nice. That's right. Uh, there's a lot of homes in our area that every year some crew shows up, and it just happens. And I think, boy, wouldn't that be a relief? You don't have to get on the ladder. Sure would. I mean, how many times have you kind of regretted hanging your own Christmas lights? I mean, you're Mister Fix It. I, I know, and and if you're busy doing other stuff, what could be better than to have folks come who are pros that have already been sort of vetted and you know they're they're trustworthy and they're going to do a great job. So I think it's a really good opportunity. Maybe the Christmas light thing could be a great project for some folks to come and help you out. I mean, with. it's a big time saver, and I guess uh, I mean it can be anywhere from like a few hundred bucks. To more. I mean, there's people who come who will totally just get your whole home ready for Christmas. They can set up the tree. They can have, they can hang the, the lights and the ornaments on the tree. Right. They'll come and take it down. Yeah. They can even bring it by the tree for you. They I might mean, even have cherry pickers and they can get up high, <laughs> like places you've exactly. never seen. And not only that, but they may establish a template mm. for you so that maybe next year you remember what they did. You take pictures. You see how they did it, and you can do it yourself. Yeah, it's it's kind of cool. I mean, if you can think about it, if it's in your budget for a few hundred bucks or so, I mean, now you can just kind of kick back and focus instead, you know, on your Christmas shopping list and, you know, gift buying and wrapping and maybe even, you know, making some cookies. There you go. Or having some cocoa or things like that. Yeah, right? or, or reclaim one of those Sundays for what? Football. There, there it is. While those guys are out there doing their thing, you're just doing thumbs up and-, and Waving then, the remote control. Yeah. I don't know if that would go or- Oh, my- Maybe invite them in after they're done. There you done. go. That's nice. Give them some cider. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. Well, so when if you are thinking about um, having some service come and do this kind of stuff, you want to make sure that you, you know- Get a, get a company that's that's uh, that's going to be the right co- caliber, a, pro, a professional team of people, right? right. Yeah, and and here's the the thing that I think some of these services lack is the it's the ability to really truly get folks who have been there, done that, who are not paying to find the position all of a sudden of, as being the number one person in town. Sometimes some of these services actually they reward you by actually charging you, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you're not getting a real true indication of the fact that these folks are really truly great. They're just paying and they've got the pockets to do it, right? But some of the other services like Service Live, I think, is great for this reason. They just, you know, they vet you, they they rate you. There's no pay to play, and you're going to get the best possible service you can find in your town. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some of the things you want to think of too, but besides uh, getting a, a totally credible and quality. Um, Group of repairmen, uh, remodelers, light hangers, whoever it is that you need. You know, this is the time when a lot of scams can occur. And I think that we are all so distracted and busy that we can, you know, accidentally have the wrong team of people or the wrong individual come into our home. In our neighborhood, there's been a lot of uh, burglaries. People in the in I know that your neighborhood we had two had, home invasions. See, yeah. and it's like you know, and we both live in very safe, great areas. But it's that that time of year where we're all so distracted and our guard is down. Yep, you know, that's right. and then you might accidentally be inviting bad people to come into your home or they might just be observing you and now they're saying you know what there's no one home now that that's the big scam where we live is that in the daytime they are looking for homes where no one is there right to break in and that's then right. it's and they'll knock on the door and if as long as no one doesn't appear they'll just break on in exactly and take right. stuff yeah. so you want to make sure that when you are hiring repairmen or remodelers or people to help you with the christmas decorations that it's the right group of people because you don't want to have 
some scam artists come well, in yeah, and take and your then, stuff. And then there's accountability, right? So you've got a reputable firm behind a company like this, and then you can always go to them to figure out what went wrong, or if it did, or, or why it worked out so well. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I think it's a really important thing to have a large company behind a referral service mm-hmm, like this. Mm-hmm. And so what are some of the things that you think would be, um, in terms of you know being as a contractor, what are some realistic projects that we could hire someone to help us with between now and Christmas? Well, you could easily get new solid services installed if you had a, a maybe a bathroom in a guest room, for example, that you know your mother-in-law is coming and you want to make it nice. You could definitely do one of these projects like a, a new surface in a bathroom, a new counter, new sink, new plumbing in, in the course of one day. The folks would have to come out, measure, it would be fabricated, and then there would literally be an install day and it would be done. Boom. Mm-hmm. You know, and that would take some of the burden off, you know, the pressure of you doing it, not getting it done in time. You know, anything like that, I think, would, would be successful, even even like a new shower door or mm-hmm. hanging a mirror in a room that you didn't have one before. Say you want some new lighting, interior lighting, where you're doing, you know, beautiful uh, can lights or something or, or mm-hmm. painting lights or anything like that that you want to sort of display art with. Again, lighting is a great opportunity to really make your house sing in terms of the way it looks. And you know what I think? I, I want to have someone come and I want to have an electrician come to my home because uh, there's this part of our home. It's a 1950s home that the outlets, a couple of them, when I pull the plug out of the outlet, let's say I had a, a little iron, spark, it sparks yes. and it wasn't even on. Yeah. And that, to me, seems like it might be a bad outlet. Yeah, you want to double check. And, you know, with Christmas time, you don't want to have Christmas fires. Well, you know, yeah, and you're, all, you're also putting a burden on your electrical system during mm-hmm. the holidays because you're plugging in a lot more extension cores in areas that maybe can't, you know, handle the the new amperage that's going on. So, right. yeah, that's a great a great idea. Between extension cords that are effective and the right choice, mm-hmm. power strips where you can actually have things trip if, if it's overburdened, it's important. So even you, even GFIs, you yeah, know, where yeah. there's water around electrical outlets, so great check, time to do that Check as it well. out. Uh, this is uh, brought to you by our friends at servicelive.com, uh, where you too can get trusted service experts and connect with confidence. Mm-hmm.